Hello and welcome to The John Arc Show. Today's episode is called Secret Opportunities the Rich Will Invest in During the Collapse. Before we begin, I want to encourage you to subscribe to our channel for free. You can also like, comment, and follow us. We're going to have a lot of great celebrity interviews coming up, so make sure to click on that notification bell so you can be notified every time we upload a new episode. Also, we ask that you post a link to today's show on all your social media to help spread the word. Now, let's get started a lot of people are wondering what the rich will secretly invest in before or during the economic collapse we're hearing some really interesting things about how the wealthy are preparing for that collapse and surprisingly it may not be what people think they're going to invest in for example most people don't know that our largest enemy country in the far east is purchasing enormous amounts of regular land and farmland near military bases in the U.S. They're deliberately acquiring land. Listen to the significance of this. It's very, very interesting. They're deliberately acquiring farmland or conventional land near our military bases. Now, you don't need to have much imagination or you don't even need to be paranoid to figure out that that can pose a threat to our national security. Another thing that the super wealthy are doing is they're purchasing islands or property in non-extradition countries or territories. Why are they doing that? Well, we suspect it's not because they want to work on their tans. Another thing the super wealthy are purchasing or investing in are tech companies or manufacturers that create strategically significant technology that will control or influence entire industries. Just watch how aggressively they try to acquire groundbreaking tech companies. The next thing the super wealthy are trying to acquire or purchase is any new technology that can pierce uh, the veil of secrecy uh, of the blockchain or of other encrypted cryptocurrencies. We've been hearing rumors for the past few years that one of the powerful nations in the Far East has already acquired the ability to track decode, acquire, and trade in stolen crypto regardless of the security features built into the crypto or the blockchain technology. Next, they're investing in and trying to control water rights. Just look at what's happening to Lake Mead water levels and other water sources in the Southwest. They keep dropping. Uh, and that's a huge problem people don't even think about now. Next, let's talk about the strategic investments they're, purchase, they're pursuing even more aggressively. Let's start with purchasing the services of lobbyists. The wealthy are spending more money on lobbyists than ever before. They're also investing in the election campaigns of various politicians on a very significant scale. The next thing they don't want you to know about are the massive investments they're making to ensure that the legislation that, that interests them is passed into law. In fact, a very serious case can be made that investing in getting your laws passed may provide them uh, with the greatest return of any of all of their investments. Another investment that they don't want you to know about or even notice is the trade deals they continue to make with our enemies. These trade deals can involve so much money uh, that it can literally help some of our enemies stay financially alive. It's insane when you think about it. The next thing they're investing heavily in are the mining rights of vast mineral deposits around the world. Lithium ion is particularly something that nations and various billionaires are pursuing really aggressively. Also, the fight for lithium ion rights is considered so important that some people compete for them as aggressively as they do to secure the rights to new oil and gas fields. Now, here is the one we've been saving for last because it's so interesting. Do you know what other investments the super rich are aggressively pursuing now? You won't believe this. It's incredible. They're pursuing the DNA rights to certain cures and capabilities that some individuals are born with. Now, they may know they have these uh, capabilities or they may not know. But if somebody possesses uh, the DNA that makes their body more resistant, uh, or impervious to cancer or diabetes or some of these other highly lucrative medical opportunities, then these uh, organizations and countries will do everything in their power to steal or acquire those DNA rights from you. It's just amazing. 
Uh, I'll tell you something else most people don't realize. When you buy those DNA home testing kits, most of those companies are owned by our Far Eastern uh, competitor. You know the country I'm talking about. Now, the testing kit they sell you contains uh, a terms of service uh, that uh, states that they have the right to seize uh, the DNA uh, that, that you think you own from you if you take their test. They get the rights to acquire those unique DNA traits and qualities that you may have and make billions off of them. And do you know who recently approved that, uh, that legal theory? The U.S. Supreme Court. Think about that. With that, I want to thank you for watching. I want to encourage you to subscribe to our channel for free. You can also like, comment, and follow us. We're going to have a lot of great celebrity interviews coming up, so make sure to click on the notification bell so you can be notified every time we upload a new episode. Also, we ask that you post a link to today's episode of our show on all your social media to help spread the word. Thank you, and we shall see you soon. Bye-bye.